guys, welcome to this episode of Tryla. My name is Carla, Pierce behind the camera, and today we are in Kulawan Village to try some ultimate comfort breakfast food and the original Dalgona coffee. Come on, let's go. This is Honki Cafe, one of Macau's hidden gems. It's a local cha cha ten that serves simple comfort foods such as pork chop bun, instant noodles, and sandwiches. Wait, they have toast with peanut butter. Ooh. Do you want one? Yeah. Later. When was the last time you were here, actually? Uh, I was here like one and a half year ago, or one year ago. And that's more recent than me. I was here like two, three years ago, I think, mm -hmm. with you. I don't think I've actually tried their popular hand beaten sweet coffee, which is what everybody calls nowadays as Dalgona coffee. If you haven't been living under a rock, you'd know this hand beaten coffee was the talk of the town in the early days of COVID lockdown. There were plenty of YouTube videos that went up with people trying to recreate this creamy and sweet coffee at home. But lucky for us, we have access to the original. Why did they call it Dalgona coffee? Well, because a Korean show I think filmed here and they tried this coffee and they don't know what it's called but it tasted similar to a Korean dessert or sweets which is called Dalgona and it's very similar in texture and it tastes I guess and I guess that's why they call it Dalgona coffee. So, it's my first time trying the authentic version right here. This is where it all started. OG guys, OG. OG. Honki Cafe is located in Kolowan Island next to the abandoned shipyards that was once a booming industry in Macau. Story has it that Ahon, the owner of the cafe, injured his arm working in the shipyard and unable to continue working, he had to find other ways to make a living, so he opened the cafe to cater to shipyard workers. To recover from his injury, he also started practicing Kung Fu and that's how he got the whipping or the hand beating skills to create this now famous frothy coffee. Look at that smooth cream meat on It's bubbling. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty strong actually. And sweet, right? Sweet but strong, yeah. How are they able to achieve that? It's sweet, but not like sugary sweet. It's I was going to ask for no sugar, but then I realized they use sugar to actually get this you texture. You gotta get the original, yeah. Mm. Okay, I don't think it's sweet at the bottom. I think like all the sugar is on top. You gotta mix it. You gotta blend it. is really smooth really nice for something that is supposed to be like a sweet coffee it's actually not too sweet and it's pretty strong which i like mm. i really like the smooth creamy froth on top i really like the texture Creamy. Or is it just the cream? You gotta you gotta blend it in, mix everything in. Oh, that's so good. It's almost 1 p.m. and the restaurant is packed. There's a lot of people coming in. They let people share tables. I guess this restaurant is always packed anyway. There's no specific timing or whatsoever that this restaurant is not packed, especially pre-pandemic times. I mean, even now that there's like travel bans, travel restrictions, it still gets pretty packed because tourists and locals alike, they all come here to eat. I notice a lot of people come here on bikes too. I think there's a bicycle rental in Kloan village, so it's easier to get here on a bike rather than walk up the hill. It's not easy to ride a bike up the hill. Oh, actually, you're right. True. It's, I think it's easier to walk uphill. <laughs> well, it's faster. The shack can be a little difficult to find as it's not accessible by public transport, unless you take a taxi, of course. We're almost there. This is the place. It's right next to the shipyard. Most locals drive to get to the cafe, but otherwise, you can either walk or ride a bike from the Kolowan Pier towards Estrada de Lai Shibun. Oh, you're 
your chicken looks really good. I should have gotten chicken as well. But no, I'm sticking to instant noodles with instant other stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna dig in. You can taste it MSG. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to expect in instant noodles, but this is something that you would like. At least it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of our school food. The breakfast we have every morning during recess. It's exactly like this. It's so comforting. A hot dog. Sometimes just going back to the basics, like the basic stuff, is so satisfying. Instant noodles is, is like, I know you can say that you can just cook this at home. Yeah. Instant noodles, you can fry your own chicken, your own sausage. But it's different, the vibe here is different. You know, you don't have a tree at all. <laughs> you don't have other people. You don't you don't have hand bean coffee. Oh wait, I'm gonna try it with chili of course. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try that too. Mm. A bit sour. Yeah. It's different from your chili oil that you get at most restaurants. Mm -hmm. With chili oil. I don't think it's chili oil. Though. Let's see what it is. Mm. It's a bit sour, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's tangy. I was expecting it to be a little sweet too, but it's not. It's just tangy. The texture is a little weird too. But I'm not complaining. It's good. Tangy, tangy. I just compliment the instant noodles. Mm. You almost done with your noodles? Oh yeah, totally. How is it? Really good. It's so basic that it's good. Simple things are always better. Mm -hmm. Anything simple. Sure. Less is more. Less is more, exactly. Almost there. I'm almost there. Should I slurp the soup? Let me have a go. Mm. All the flavors in there. So good. It's oily, salty, a little sour, a little spicy. So good. Let me have some more. Alright guys, that was a very nice brunch, very simplistic, it's so local, very home style. If you guys are ever in Macau, go check out this place, it's worth a try at least once if you're here. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below what else do you guys want to see in Macau. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!